I'm going to walk you through an example of object property creation and control in addition to using that of layers. Here's how I might create several lines to represent hot water and cold water lines on a single plumbing layer. The first thing I'm going to do is to click on the Layer Properties button to display the Layer Properties Manager to see what layers I already have in this drawing. Notice that at this time I do not have a plumbing layer. Now if I want specific properties to be inherited when I create a new layer, simply select the layer from which you would like to inherit properties and then click the New button to create a new layer. The new layer that I create inherits the properties from the layer I selected. Let's call this the plumbing layer. I'll press the Enter key and you can see that the plumbing layer now appears in the list. I'm going to leave the default properties of this layer so that its display state is on, it's not frozen, it's not locked, its current default color is set to white with a continuous line type and the default line weight. I'm going to double click to make that the current layer. You can also make a layer current by simply selecting it and then clicking the current button. Also notice that any layer that does not yet have any objects on it appears with this gray icon in the status column, while those that do have objects on them appear with a blue icon. The plumbing layer does not yet have any objects because I just created it. Let's make the plumbing layer the current layer, and for now I'm actually going to close the Layer Properties Manager. Now there are two types of lines that I want to create. A line segment that represents the hot water line and another one that represents the cold. If we think about how we might represent those by changing their actual properties, I probably want the hot water line to be represented with the color red. So I'm going to change the color property to red. I'm also going to come down here and change the line type. Let's change the line type to hot water supply. So I changed two properties. Any new object that I create will be created on the plumbing layer, but using these explicit properties. Any new geometry that I create will be created with the color red and with the hot water line type. So I'll create my line segment, and it might be helpful at this time to also turn on my polar tracking so that I can lock those lines in at the correct angles. So we'll draw a couple of line segments. Now, to create the cold water line, I don't have a cold water line type, and there isn't one to load either, although I could create a custom line type. But in this case, I'm actually going to set the line type back to the line type by layer. But if I always want the cold water line to be a continuous line, and I don't want that to change, you might want to make that continuous. And let's change the color of any new objects to the color blue. And now let's go and create that new line segment. I'll draw the cold water line, and I'll continue to pick my points, and draw my cold water line right next to my hot water line. It's also important to note that I created these objects on the plumbing layer. As you can see here, the current layer, the layer that's at the top of the list in the Layers panel on the Home Ribbon tab, is set to Plumbing. The actual object properties, which are over here in the Properties panel, control the actual properties of the object as it's being created. The color blue, the line weight by layer, and the continuous line type. To prove that this has actually occurred, let me simply come up here make a different layer current, and then turn off the plumbing layer. Notice that when I turn off the plumbing layer, all of the objects on the plumbing layer disappear.